rearranging formula with break even. By the end of this video, you should be able to rearrange the break even formula to find missing variables. Before we start, this video is part of a series of videos on this topic of break even. It's advised that you've watched the previous video on break even before viewing this one. You could be asked a question that requires you to rearrange the break-even formula. You could be asked to find the variable cost per unit, the fixed cost, or the selling price per unit. This will mean that you have to rearrange that break-even formula that you should now have learned and you should know. This also goes back to using some of the basic algebra concepts that you have been taught in your maths and numeracy lessons. So there's a strong link here with your maths lessons and your business lessons. Let's look at an example of how this can be done. John has to sell 5,000 drinks to break even. It costs him 50p to buy each drink from his supplier and he sells them for £1 each. What would be his fixed costs? So what we need to do now is firstly write out our break even formula and then complete it with the information that we've got. So as you can see there, I've wrote my break even point equals my fixed cost divided by my selling price minus my variable cost in brackets or my contribution. I know my break even point is 5,000. I don't know my fixed cost, I'm going to leave it as FC, but I know that my selling price is 1 and I know that 50p is my variable cost. What we need to do now is what you will have learned in mass, solve the brackets using Bob mass or bid mass. So we can solve them, 1 minus 0.5 gives us 50p. So we're now left with 5,000 equals a fixed cost divided by 50p. The car I'm writing it all out in a nice structured way. We're now going to use one of the basic principles of algebra. We want to find FC, and we know that to leave FC on that side where it is, we need to get rid of that divide by 0 0.5. Now, the opposite of divide is a times. So if I move my divide by 0 0.5 to the other side, that will leave me with 5,000 times by 0 0.5 equals FC. So now let's solve that. 5,000 times 0 0.5 would give me 2,500 would equal my fixed cost. There you are, I've rearranged the formula, I've completed it correctly, and I now know what my fixed costs are. I could test it by putting that back into the formula. Now, we can do a more complex way that we rearrange it, and that's because we have to do something called multiplying out the brackets. And I'll explain how we do that and why we do that now with this example. Emma has to sell 20,000 t-shirts to break even. It costs her £3 to purchase each t-shirt from her supplier, and she has fixed costs of £80,000. What would be her selling price? Now again, firstly, we write out the information that we've got. We know the break-even point is 20000 We know the fixed cost of 80000 We don't know the selling price. I'm going to leave that as SP, but we do know the variable cost is 3 Now, in the previous example, we could solve those brackets because they were complete, but they're not here. SP minus 3 is not complete. So we need to get rid of our brackets. And that's what's called multiplying out the brackets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 20,000 by SP. And then I'm going to make sure I multiply 20,000 by minus 3 in theory. So remember taking away in that X section over there. So that's why I've got the minus left in there. And that would give me 80,000 overall. So 20,000 SP would give me 20,000 SP. And take away... 20,000 times 3, which is 60,000, which then gives me 80,000. My next line there is to set about solving it. So I want to leave my 20,000 SP on one side, as you can see there. So what I've done is I've moved my minus 60,000. Now, it's a minus 60,000 on that side. If I'm going to swap the side, then it needs to become a positive. So that's going to leave me with 80,000 plus 60,000. I'm now going to solve that. 20,000 SP will equal 140,000. And now at this point now, this is where it catches people out. 20,000 SP actually means multiply by. Now we want to get SP on its own, so we need to get rid of that 20,000. So if you know it's 20,000 SP and that's 20,000 times by, the opposite has got to be divide by. So then we're left with SP is going to equal 140,000 divided by 20,000. And as a result, SP is going to equal 7. And there we are. We've solved it. A little more complex, but it can be solved. 
So the best way to test your understanding is to have a go at some questions. So here's the first one. Fred has to sell 3,000 computers to break even. It costs him £200 to buy each computer from his supplier and he sells them for £500 each. What are his fixed costs? Pause the video now while you complete that task. Here is your answer you should have calculated. As you can see, I've written out my formula first. My break even equals my fixed cost divided by my selling price minus my variable cost in brackets. And I've completed them. I put my 3,000 break even points in there. I don't know my FC, so I've left it FC. And in my brackets, I've got my selling price of 500 minus my variable cost of 200. As you can see, I can complete my brackets. So that's going to leave me with 3,000 equals my fixed cost divided by 300. Now, we want to get FC on its own, and it's divided by 100, 300 on that side, so it's got to go to the other side, so it's going to be times by, so it's going to be 3,000 times by 300, which gives me 900,000 as my fixed costs. There you are, solved. Well done if you got that right, fantastic. If not, go back to the example that I showed in the video previously, watch it again, and try and solve that question again. Okay, let's have a go at one more, one more complex one here. Julie has to sell 12,500 phone cases to break even. It costs her 0.5 pounds or 50p to purchase each phone case from her supplier and she has fixed costs of 50,000 pounds. What would be her selling price? Pause the video now I complete that and then unpause to see the answer. So, what should you have calculated? Well, remember, write out your formula first and then put in the information we know. So we know that £12,500 is our break-even point. We know our fixed cost of 50000 We don't know our SP, but we do know that our variable cost is 50p. So we put that information in there. Can we solve the brackets? No, we can't. We need to multiply them out. So we've got 12500 times SP. And we've got minus, obviously, 12500 times 0.5. Remember, the minus comes from the fact that it's minus in the previous Bracket, remember, don't forget that, that's why people go wrong sometimes. Equals 50,000. Let's solve that by making it simplified. So that gives us 12,500 SP, and that gives us minus 6,250 equals 50,000. At this point now, we need to start moving things around because we want to get things to make simple. So we want to leave our SP on that side. The easiest thing to move is going to be that minus 6,250. If it's a minus on that side, it's got to become a positive on the other side. So 50,000 plus 6250, which will actually give me 12,500 SP equals 56,250 pound. Now remember, we want to get SP on its own. And we know that 12,500 SP means multiply by, what's the opposite of multiply? Divide by. So that's got to be 56,250 divided by 12,500. And that gives me an SP of 4 pound and 50 pence and that would be the correct answer hopefully you got it correct again if you didn't go back to the example and then try and attempt that question again to make sure you understand how it's calculated however you have now come to the end of these series on break-even videos you should now be able to use a break-even formula to calculate break-even you should be able to find an average and use that in a break-even formula and you should be able to rearrange the break-even formula if required if not go back to some of the examples and see how and where you've made mistakes and where you could improve. Thanks for checking out the Bee Business B YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, it's at Bee Business B. Also, give the Facebook page a like, it's facebook.com forward slash Bee Business B. And lastly, don't forget to check out the online hiver activities found on bbusinessbee.co.uk full of quizzes, activities and resources. And remember, until next time, keep buzzing.